I was trained to be a high school teacher, and I hate to be a teacher. I said, ah, you know, how can a boy be a teacher? So every day in the school, I was thinking about, it. hmm, one day when I, uh, when I graduate, I will never be a teacher. Because China's system at that time is that when you are teacher trained, you have to be a teacher. So when, the day when I left, the day when I finished, graduated, I was taking my luggage out. My president of the university, he was at the gate. He said, Jack, come on. I said, come. I said, sir, what are you? He said, you, I know where you will go. Because he assigned me to a, a school to teach. He said, promise me, six years. Don't leave. I said, no. <laughs> Six, I said, all right. I said, all right. And I never thought it because I, I, th I think he gave me a good place to go. But president said six years ago, that promised me, that promise I kept. I become a teacher in the university for six years. I calmed down. I learned how to be a teacher. I started to communicate with my young people, uh, students, changed my mind, and I learned all the good things of being a teacher. And then I started to move six years later. There are a lot of great opportunities come to me in the six years. I said, no, I promised. Mm -hmm. And after six years, I started to leave and build up the, my internet career. So if I were giving advice to young people, when you graduate from something, when you're looking for a job, the first job is the most important. Not necessarily a company that has a great name. You should find a good boss that can teach you how to be a human being, how to do things right, how to do things properly, and stay there. Give yourself a promise. I will stay there for at least three years. Then you start to move. A lot of people, that's no good. I've seen a lot of disasters, a lot of problems. So stay, stick to one. Find, so normally I say when you're 20, 30 years old, you don't know what you do. You have a lot of ideas. You think you can do anything, but you actually you can't do nothing. So you follow one person. <laughs> follow one person. When you are 30 to 40 years old, if you really want to try to do something yourself, try it. When you're 40 years to 50, just to focus on the things you're good at. When you're 50 years old to 60, enable young people to do better. When you're over 60 years old, spend time with your grandchildren. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, right? That's the life, normally like that. Yeah. Education, it's a good, big challenge now. If we do not change the way we teach, 30 years later we'll be in trouble. Because the way we teach, the, the thing we talk, teach our kids are the things that the past 200 years is knowledge based. And we cannot teach our kids to compete with machine who is smarter. We have to teach something unique. That is machine can never catch up with us. In this way, 30 years later our kids have the chance. Value, believing, independent thinking, teamwork, care for others. These are the soft part. The knowledge may not teach you that. Mm. Folks, that's why I think we should teach our kids <coughs> on sports, entertain, uh, uh, the, the music, the painting, Art. So making sure humans should be different from everything we teach should be different from machine. If the machine can do better, you have to think about it. Every day is uncertain. The only certain day was yesterday. I'm not sure about that in the future I can I would dictate, I would be stupid. That's why I should retire early when I'm young. That is why I have a lot of things that I dream I want to do. I want to do philanthropy, I want to be a teacher, I want to go back to school, I want to do the environment. And the world is so wonderful. Why should it be the CEO of Alibaba all the time? 
I'm, I'm coming to this world not to work. I want to come to this world to enjoy my life. I don't want to die in my office. I want to die on the beaches. 